Cho. What's the scoop, my J Rock stars? J Rock Cakes back in the building. You already know. Today we're gonna be talking about Gears Four, and um, how how it ended, I guess. If you haven't already, you know, played through it yourself, or watched someone else play it, or watched the finale over here on our channel, which I don't know why you wouldn't have. Um, this is getting ready to be a little bit of spoiler, so if you don't want to see this, you know, go ahead, pause this, go over there, um, watch that video right quick. You know what I'm saying? I'll uh, I'll give you I'll give you a couple seconds. I'll give you a couple seconds. Time's up. So, oh, the end of the Gears 4, right? <clears throat> Man, okay? I'm not saying that I didn't like the ending at all. I'm not saying I didn't like the game at all. The game was actually overall a pretty good game. I I, I really did like the story. You know, the story... Actually, I, w I was okay with the story. I felt like the story could have given us a little bit more, but I was kind of okay with the story. I The ending just, you know, leads you to... There's gonna be a Gears 5 or a Gears Judgment 2 or something like that. They're obviously they have to continue going on with the franchise, with the ending that they did. Um, with that being said, let's talk about the ending, right? <coughs> so, well, let's talk about the whole game. How about that? Let's sum it up right quick. So, is her name Kai? I think her name's Kai. Her name is either Kai or Kate. I can't believe I can't remember her name already. But her mother got captured by the locusts, or in this case now, what's called the swarm. Actually, back up even farther. So, what we thought was killing the locusts like forever and a day ago, apparently wasn't killing them, it just crystallized them. So they all have turned into crystals, so now the locusts are technically not dead. All those crystals that you saw me like pushing over in the game and stuff like that are still there. They're not dead. They're nowhere near dead. They're just in crystals, apparently. So, now they're coming back and now we've introduced their name as the Swarm. So the Swarm has been taking people from not only from the Cog and their like cities and stuff, but from the Outsiders too. And what they're doing is they're putting them in pods and turning them into locusts or grubs or Swarm, whatever you want to call them. Um, but apparently, um, this, this girl's mom is more of a key factor than anything else. Everybody else that was taken was put inside pods. You know what I'm saying? And this, um, the Grenadier, or I'm not so sure what he's called, but the, the general that came to get her, specifically came there just for her. Like, made sure he beat her up to the point where she was still alive, but could be taken, <clears throat> excuse me, could be taken and, um, for, for like, like they, pretty much they took her for a specific reason, you know what I'm saying? So, you have Kai, you got um, JD, you got uh, Del, Del, Dave, Dan? No, Del. And they're pretty much just trying to get them back now. So, what they do is they go, they find Marcus, um, ask for Marcus' help. Marcus takes them to where one of the, um, one of the sinkholes were. Well, it's taking them to the direction to where one of the sinkholes is before he's actually captured himself. <coughs> now he's captured, he's put inside of a pod. They go to the sinkhole, they find him, they uh, save him from the pod. I was so happy, man. I was like, please don't tell me he's gonna die right here. Like, he's gotta be there a little bit longer. Um, so, they do that, then they go, then after they get him, they are escaping that. Um, so pretty much here, here after they find him, I'm so happy that they found him. Um, they find him, they escape, they go to another sinkhole. That is apparently where the girl's mom is because when they're inside their pods, they're all connected somehow. So Marcus saw her mom at this other sinkhole, but he said that she hasn't been put inside the pod. He hasn't said what's been done with her. <clears throat> so. They go to that sinkhole, they realize that they're gonna need backup. What they decide, they go to like this radio tower, they call Baird and Cole, they come with the King Raven and these two big, um, I think they call the robots DBs or something like that. They come with these two big DBs, and then those DBs, they go in there into the sinkhole, they fight this big ass boss. Kate decides to run in first to, show, to go see her mom, and then her mom is like attached to what almost looks like. 
Has anybody, you know, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Has anybody seen Dragon Ball Z? One of the movies called The Tree of Life, or Tree, not Tree of Life, Tree of Might. She is like attached to that. And not like in a pod. Like there's like freaking, I don't know, vines of the tree like attached to her body and shit like that. So there's something about her DNA that they needed in order to, I don't know if it's like help with um, bringing all of them back to life or help with uncrystallizing all the locusts that have been crystallized or something of that nature, you know what I'm saying? So, she realizes that, or uh, Kate realizes that, you know, if if she cuts her, she's gonna die, and then the mom asks for Kate to be the one to do it. So, Kate says, you know, JD, you know, so let me say goodbye, everyone else leaves so that she can do it, you know what I mean? She cuts her and everything, and you know, she's doing it slow, man, and that's, it's so goddamn painful just to watch. But before she dies, she gives her, um, the mother gives Kate the necklace, and it's like a medallion or whatever. So, they run out, or Kate runs out after she kills her mom, obviously, she left her body there. Um, after she kills her mom, she runs out, hugs JD, Marcus says, you know, get her somewhere safe, she says she doesn't need protection, Marcus said, do you understand, you just need time. After that happens... She has the medallion in her hand. JD says that your mother wanted you to have this. She said, yes, it was my grandmother's. She holds up the medallion. I don't know if Kate saw the back of the medallion or not, but she holds up the medallion. You can see the medallion on the back side of the medallion. I said that I recognized that symbol, right? She said that it belonged to her grandmother. That symbol on the back of the medallion is the locust symbol. I, when I saw it, I was like, I know I've seen that before. That is definitely the locust symbol. So my question is, who the hell is her grandmother? <coughs> At the end of the video, I was talking about her grandmother possibly being the Locust Queen. Now, I don't remember the Locust Queen... Um, I don't remember the Locust Queen saying anything, you know, about having special children or even wearing some type of necklace or medallion. But let's be real, out of all the locusts, the locust queen looked more human than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So, a whole bunch of speculation coming. So, what if the grubs really are like humans that were like exposed to some type of emotion forever and a day ago, you know what I'm saying? Like it was a certain amount that were exposed to emotion. Or maybe um, between Marcus's dad and the Locust Queen, they were working on certain experiments, you know, test subjects and shit like that. And from like testing on emotion and shit like that, that's how they got the Locust to form, you know what I mean? And the Queen decided, excuse me, and the Queen decided that she was gonna start her own army from this Locust, you know what I mean? It's, it's just really, really mind-boggling, but it would kind of make sense why they would need Kate's mom specifically. Well, they probably don't even really know about Kate, but they would need Kate's mom specifically because it's like, you're the heir to the Locust Queen, you know what I mean? So we need your DNA in order for us to survive, in order for us to uncrystallize the Locust that has been crystallized, as well as help improve what is now the Swarm, you know what I mean? Um, it's just crazy how the end of that story ended, you know what I mean? So it, it brings up a whole bunch of speculation. It makes me definitely believe that somehow Kate and her mom are really, really key points. Well, obviously her mom is, but they're really, really key points to um, the Locust, or now the Swarm, I guess you can say. Because it's not like they were just trying to find, you know, badass people, you know what I mean? Because they captured Marcus and they just put his ass in a pot, you know what I mean? But they captured her mom and they like strapped her up to the tree of might of the swarm, I guess you can say. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it, it brings up a lot of different speculation. So, what is the real relationship between the Locust, the Locust Queen, Kate's mom, and Kate? You know what I mean? And then on top of that, I wonder if Kate might know something. You know what I mean? Like, maybe she knows something about the Locust that she hasn't told anybody else. You know what I mean? When she was holding the medallion, I have to go back and look at it. I didn't really think that she looked at the back of it. It looked like she only looked at the front that she just had in her hand and then she held it up. But what if she saw the back of it 
and Kate knows something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It, it could just be me going a little bit more into the story. Maybe Kate knows nothing. You know, and maybe she's just clueless to the whole entire thing. But it's, it's it just brings up a lot of speculation. Thank you guys for hearing me out. I know this is a kind of long video. I know we haven't talked like this in a while, but. At the, because of that ending, I had to say something about it, you know what I mean? It makes me think what DLC they're going to probably release. But normally if they release DLC, it's like before the end of the... I don't want to put it. Before the end of whatever they ended the campaign with. It'll probably be something like in the middle or something like that. Um, oh, and another thing you saw at the very end that Oscar survived that carrier. Now... That's something to think about, and I guess, you know, it depends on time, but Oscar was captured in a carrier the same time that um, Kate's mom was captured, and actually, I could have sworn that Oscar was dead before Kate's mom was captured. I could be wrong on that, but that's what I think, and then on top of that, what made him, what brought him back to, like, consciousness, um, inside that, um, carrier? Is it carriers? No, I don't think they're carriers. Those are called snatchers, my bad. I've been using the wrong name. Like, what, what brought him back consciousness inside that snatcher? And then, <coughs> on top of that, why wasn't Marcus able to do that? You know what I mean? I would think that Marcus and Oscar maybe are around the same age, you know what I mean? So why wasn't Mark why wasn't Marcus able to escape that snatcher? You know what I'm saying? Why was Oscar able to do it? Maybe Oscar's DNA had the snatcher going somewhere else. Because it doesn't make sense that that snatcher went, you know, to the middle of nowhere instead of just going back to um, the underground, you know, the underground spot, the the, the grub hole or whatever you want to call it. It's just really, really odd. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, if you want to, leave your own speculations in the, in the comments below. I like to hear what everybody's thinking. Um, other than that, um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is out. You're going to start getting videos on that right tomorrow. I wanted to release it um, on Tuesday, but um, a lot of things got put on my plate Tuesday. And then I wanted to make sure I did this video before I put out any new content on this channel. So Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 coming tomorrow. I'm going to start working on it right after I finish talking with you guys. Everybody take care, be safe, make sure you hit the like, subscribe for some more so our J-Rock family can grow, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.